Swabek has a very compact body. How will that affect him here? It's going to be a little shorter. It's going to keep him low and help align his upper body. He's got really small hands and fingers. That's going to be the challenge for him. And unlike Jesse, Paul, and Kaz, he does not look very relaxed. Look at the blood being squeezed out of his hands. He's gripping so hard. 353 pounds in each hand for a total of 706 pounds, and it's all about how long can you go. Great concentration. And Toychek releases at 40.97 seconds. And with the talent coming behind him, Kaz, he has really opened the door. Toychek has the upper body strength to hold these big pillars, but his small hands really came back to haunt him. That takes us to Dave Oslin from the United States. He's starting to make a name for himself in this sport with his performance here. Dave's got the size and athletic ability. He just needs to add some experience with these events and competing at the highest level of the sport. Well, the low he's concerned about right now is off the charts. It was put up by Jess and Paul in a time of 1 minute point three seven seconds. The Canadian is the leader. Todd, his advantage here being 6'6", is that hook grip that he's got right now. The thumb over the index finger. As he approaches the 22nd, Mark has 353 pounds in each hand. What advice do you give him? Just concentrate. Try to think that 353 pounds in each hand actually weighs nothing. Some of the athletes could convince themselves of that. Well, he is feeling the strain right now. Unable to hold on any longer. His time, 40.87 seconds. That will put him currently into third place. He's ready. Take the strain. So it all comes down to the man from Finland. Once again, you can see the technique. Bent knees, head down, shoulders flat with the grips. He's got the long fingers and a lot of experience. It just depends how much training he's done with those massive forearms in his grip. 353 pounds in each hand. This is Yanni Virtanen, the 2000 World's Strongest Man champion. And he's halfway there. You don't see the pillars moving even a fraction of an inch. They're tight against their blocks. And that is somewhat of a surprise. Yanni Virtanen only able to hold on for 41.13 seconds, good enough for third. And a much needed victory for that man, Jessen Paulin. He'll take the five points that accompany the win. The Hercules hole goes to Jessen Paul, and second belongs to Kevin Nee. Yanni Virtanen finishes third. Swamik Toychek edges out Dave Oslin for fourth.